Welcome to the Bible Quiz Channel. Brace yourself for 15 intriguing questions on various aspects of the Holy Bible. Can you conquer this test of your biblical knowledge? Before we start, be sure to subscribe and hit the like button to help us spread God's teachings. Share your score in the comments after the quiz. We're eager to hear from you. Exciting news! Click the Join button to become a channel member and access exclusive content that enriches your biblical journey. Plus, you'll be supporting us in bringing God's Word to more people. Ready? Let's dive into the video. Question 1. What did God ask Abraham to sacrifice as a test of his faith? A. His wife B. A lamb C. His son D. His servant Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Genesis, chapter 22, verse 2. And he said, Take now thy son, thine only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering. Question 2. Who was swallowed by a large fish? A. Elijah B. Jonah C. Isaiah D. Jeremiah Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Jonah, chapter 1, verse 17. Now the Lord had prepared a great fish to swallow up Jonah. And Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. Question 3. What river did Elisha divide with his master's cloak? A. Euphrates B. Nile C. Jordan D. Tigris Time to think. The right answer is letter C. 2 Kings, chapter 2, verse 14. And he took the mantle of Elijah that fell from him, and smote the waters, and said, Where is the Lord God of Elijah? And when he also had smitten the waters, they parted hither and thither, and Elisha went over. Question 4. What prophet was taken up to heaven in a whirlwind? A. Elisha B. Elijah C. Isaiah D. Jeremiah Time to think. The right answer is letter B. 2 Kings Chapter 2, verse 11. And it came to pass, as they still went on and talked, that, behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire, and parted them both asunder, and Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. Question 5. Which king saw a hand writing on the wall? A. Belshazzar B. Nebuchadnezzar C. Cyrus D. Darius Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Daniel, chapter 5, verse 5. In the same hour came forth fingers of a man's hand, and wrote over against the candlestick upon the plaster of the wall of the king's palace, 
and the king saw the part of the hand that wrote. Question 6. In which book is the Valley of Dry Bones vision found? A. Ezekiel B. Daniel C. Jeremiah D. Isaiah Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Ezekiel, chapter 37, verses 1 to 3. The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones and caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? Question 7. Who was the prophet that confronted David about his sin with Bathsheba? A. Nathan B. Samuel C. Elijah D. Jeremiah Time to think. The right answer is letter A. 2 Samuel, chapter 12, verse 7. And Nathan said to David, Thou art the man. Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, I anointed thee king over Israel, and I delivered thee out of the hand of Saul. Question 8. Who was David's chief captain? A. Joab B. Abishai C. Uriah D. Benaiah Time to think. The right answer is letter A. 2 Samuel, chapter 8, verse 16. And Joab the son of Zeruiah was over the host, and Jehoshaphat the son of Ahalud was recorder. Question 9. From whom did David purchase the threshing floor for building an altar to the Lord? A. Arauna B. Abinadab C. Achish D. Ahimelech Time to think. The right answer is letter A. 2 Samuel, chapter 24, verse 24. And the king said unto Araunah, Nay, but I will surely buy it of thee at a price. Neither will I offer burnt offerings unto the Lord my God of that which doth cost me nothing. So David bought the threshing floor and the oxen for fifty shekels of silver. Question 10. What did David do when he realized he had been tricked by the Ziphites? A. He cursed them. B. He prayed. C. He fled to a stronghold. D. He prepared for battle. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. 1 Samuel, chapter 23, verse 29. And David went up from thence and dwelt in strongholds at Engedi. Question 11. What did Solomon do with the excess gold from Ophir? A. Built a navy. B. Adorned the temple. C. Made shields. D gave it to the people. Time to think.
The right answer is letter C. 1 Kings chapter 10, verse 16. And King Solomon made 200 targets of beaten gold. 600 shekels of gold went to one target. Question 12. Who was the first king to rule over Israel in the Bible? A. David B. Saul C. Solomon D. Samson Time to think. The right answer is letter B. 1 Samuel, chapter 10, verse 1. Then Samuel took a vial of oil and poured it upon his head, and kissed him, and said, Is it not because the Lord hath anointed thee to be captain over his inheritance? Question 13. What was Esau doing when Jacob stole his blessing? A. Fishing B. Hunting C. Sleeping D. Praying Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Genesis, chapter 27, verse 5. And Rebekah heard when Isaac spake to Esau his son, and Esau went to the field to hunt for venison and to bring it. Question 14. Why was Jonah swallowed by a big fish? A. For preaching in Nineveh against God's command. B as a punishment for trying to flee from God's command to go to Nineveh. C. Because he was thrown overboard during a storm at sea. D. For praying to be saved from drowning. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Jonah chapter 1, verses 1 to 3. Now the word of the Lord came unto Jonah the son of Amittai, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it, for their wickedness is come up before me. But Jonah rose up to flee unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord, and went down to Joppa, and he found a ship going to Tarshish. So he paid the fare thereof, and went down into it, to go with them unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. Question 15. Why did Lot's wife turn into a pillar of salt? A. She remained in Sodom despite being warned to flee. B. She prayed to be turned into salt. C. She was struck by lightning as Sodom was destroyed. D. She disobeyed an angel's warning not to look back at Sodom. Time to think. The right answer is letter D. Genesis, chapter 19 verses 17 to 26. And it came to pass, when they had brought them forth abroad, that he said, Escape for thy life. Look not behind thee, neither stay thou in all the plain. Escape to the mountain, lest thou be consumed. But his wife looked back from behind him, and she became a pillar of salt. Wow, that was an enlightening journey through the scriptures. How did you fare? Remember, whether you aced it or learned something new today, the Word of God is always full of wonders waiting to be explored. Now, if you enjoyed this quiz, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends and family. Let's see how they do. 
If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to stay updated with more quizzes and biblical insights. And most importantly, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Comment down below with your score, any questions you might have, or even suggestions for future quizzes. Together we can grow and deepen our understanding of God's Word. Thank you for joining us today, and may you always be blessed on your spiritual journey. Until next time, stay inspired.